Justified was a TV series on FX that ran for 78 episodes and six seasons, ending in 2015. The star of the show is Raylan Givens, played by Timothy Oliphant. Givens is a cool, handsome, witty, angry, cowboy hat wearing, always shoots to kill deputy U.S. Marshal. I want you to understand, I don't pull my sidearm unless I'm going to shoot to kill. That's its purpose, huh? To kill, so that's how I use it. He was born in eastern Kentucky and grew up like all kids, playing ball, chasing girls, and, when he was old enough, digging for coal. His dream was to get out of Kentucky and become a U.S. Marshal, but on his climb up that ladder, he had a major setback when he shot and killed a thug very publicly in Miami. His superiors sent him packing back to the one place he hoped never to return, Harlan County in Kentucky. As an aside, the Harlan County in the series is fictitious. While there is a Harlan County, none of these episodes were shot there, and instead filming took place in Pennsylvania and California. The series is based on novels written by Elmore Leonard. Raylan Givens first appeared in Leonard's novel Pronto, and the pilot is based on the short story entitled Fire in the Hole. The writers were encouraged throughout the series to keep Elmore Leonard in their thoughts when writing episodes and actually wore wristbands with the letters WWED. What would Elmore do? Oh, and Raylan was almost always seen wearing a cowboy hat and only had one backup hat on the set at any given time. You can pick up your own Justified hat at thelastbestwest.com and we've put a link below in the comments. There were so many great characters in this series that we can't cover them all today. But Walton Goggins as Boy Crowder was the main villain and he was great. Initially, Goggins wasn't interested in the role. He didn't want to be typecast as the racist backwoods character and only signed on as he was a friend of Oliphant's and if they agreed to kill him off in the first season, which of course didn't happen. Goggins took the character of a pyromaniac, white supremacist, religious nut, and made the viewers sympathetic to him. He cast him out! He cast him out! And like Jesus! Like Jesus! Like Jesus! We must never be afraid to strike out against those who practice evil! He harnessed just the right mix of charisma, charm, and vulnerability to make it almost impossible to hate him. You just can't take your eyes off him when he's on screen. Why, did you do something you shouldn't have? Well, that's a pretty low bar, Raylan. And the chemistry between Oliphant and Goggins is electric. They play off one another perfectly. And we'll be doing a video in the near future featuring Boy Crowder. So what's all the hype about this series? We've all seen shows about a maverick cop who breaks all the rules. Well, it all comes down to the acting. We've talked about Walton Goggins as Boy Crowder. Goggins was the standout performer of the first season, but he meets his match in the second season in Margot Martindale, outstanding as Megs Bennett, fearsome matriarch of the Bennett clan, warmly maternal one moment, and a cutthroat vicious killer the next. Megs is a product of her environment, just like Boyd, Raylan, and everyone else in Harlan. The Bennetts and the Givenses have been rivals for generations. She does make a mean apple pie moonshine, flavored to be similar to apple pie, but I wouldn't take her up on her offer of a glass. Meg's intention initially was to be a regular wife and mother until her husband died and she had to run his criminal enterprise, not an easy feat in backwoods Kentucky. Meg's runs a general store as a front for her family's lucrative marijuana growing business, and she entrusts her money to Alston Limehouse. And speaking of Alston Limehouse, he was first introduced in the third season of Justified. Limehouse is played by actor McKelty Williamson. He's a butcher and runs a diner in Nobles Holler, where the residents frequently eat. He comes across as charming and affable, but don't let appearances fool you. He's an extremely dangerous man to cross. You ever see what happens when you put too much uh, lye in the skull and water? Well, it burns off the hair and the hog skin besides. Now, I'm gonna give you a choice, Bernard. Limehouse also owed Megs Bennett some kind of debt because Megs entrusted him to hold on to all her stashed money before she died, purportedly millions of dollars. 
With so many people knowing about the money, Limehouse refuses to give it to anyone else but Dickie Bennett, played by Jeremy Davies. And despite being Meg's only heir, he has to hatch a plan to break out of prison to steal the money. One of Dickie's brothers, Dewey Crow, played by Damon Harriman, provides some much-needed comic relief in the series. Next time I see you, I'm gonna go. Mm. 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 Tell Boyd his old buddy wants to see him. Another character central to this series is Arlo Givens, played by Raymond J. Barry. Arlo is Raylan's father. However, there was no Arlo in Elmore Leonard's Fire in the Hole short story. He was created in the series to provide some depth and background into Raylan's early years. Barry, as Arlo, does a superb job of playing the corrupt, lying, stealing father of Raylan. He was a Vietnam vet and suffered from PTSD and was a criminal with ties to Crowder. Bad to the core and bad to the end, there is never any hope of Arlo reforming and he stays true to the character until the very end. And not to mention the plethora of antagonists in this series. Jerry Burns' as Win Duffy, for example, starts out as a bad guy, but eventually becomes a friend to the U.S. Marshal Department. A strange pairing for sure. Fletcher Nix, the Iceman Cometh. Colton Rhodes, all of the Crows. Avery Markham and Catherine Hale, deadlier together. Gunfighter Boone, Daddy, Crowder's Daddy. Ava Crowder, who is married to Bowman Crowder, who she shot, Dickie Bennett, Robert Quarles, and of course, Megs Bennett and Boyd Crowder. And those are just a few of the villains in this series. So why was the Justified series so damn good? In addition to the sound performances by a lot of different actors, there are lots of moving parts in this series. Dozens of characters and locations, and each character is unique. And what is different in this series is that we meet almost all of them immediately. Unlike a lot of series where there is a different antagonist each week, for the most part the characters are introduced right from the start and continue on, unless of course Raylan shoots them, for the rest of the episodes. Raylan is an interesting character. He has many faults that are not hidden. He's no saint, that's for sure. But that's what makes him stand out from other westerns and cop shows. In fact, some might say that Raylan falls into the villain category himself. Not to mention he doesn't mind explaining the art of the draw to someone who is obviously confused. The show has multiple storylines and serious consequences, but it's easy to follow and rewards the viewer with every episode. Each episode goes from intense action scenes to even more explosive moments where you are reminded emphatically that if you live in Harlan, you're not necessarily safe from the violence. Even in the finale, we don't know if Raylan himself is going to live or die. Justified is one of the best series we've ever watched. Each episode flies by and leaves you wanting the next one right now, and we highly recommend it. If you click on the subscribe and notify buttons right now, you'll be notified when we make our next in the Justified series. Please let us know in the comments if there is any character you would like covered in more detail, and we'll add it to our list. Thank you for watching Real Clues.